Peter Paul Rubens was a Flemish artist and diplomat who mingled in the highest circles of European society in the 17th century. His paintings of women are famous and have generally been thought of as voluptuous nudes typical of the age of Baroque. A wonderful new exhibition in South London challenges that assumption, showing how the women in Rubens's life were variously his model, inspiration or patroness. The Dulwich Picture Gallery was the first purpose-built public art gallery in England when it opened in 1811. And the collection centred on the age of Baroque and featured nine works by Peter Paul Rubens, the artist who was knighted by both King Philip IV of Spain and King Charles I of England. Having those items gave Dulwich the status to borrow from great collections to mount a world-class exhibition on Rubens and women. Jennifer, give me a thumbnail sketch of Peter Paul Rubens, please. For me, Rubens is one of the greatest artists who ever lived. He was so talented, he worked incredibly hard, and he made the most of what he had at his disposal, his contacts and his skill. So for that reason, he's my favourite. And why do you like his paintings? They sing, and there is so much variety with Rubens' paintings. He responds to what is needed in the moment, whether he's painting a portrait or a great mythological picture. He really knows how to draw out storytelling and to listen to what's needed. He moved around Europe at the highest levels of society mm. with royal patrons and making portraits of royal personages. Yes, he was very good with people. You can tell that in the way that he paints. And in this exhibition here at Dulwich Picture Gallery, we're drawing out his relationship with women. And actually what we realise is that paintings that Rubens made weren't of women, they were often for women. His great patron was the Archduchess Isabella, and she sent him as a diplomat to the English court to broker peace between England and Spain. And how clever that was, because King Charles I loved, first and foremost, art. So Rubens was the leading artist of his day, and Archduchess Isabella sends him to broker peace with Charles I. So what is it in this exhibition that tells a different story from what we've assumed in the past? Why are you saying that his relationship with women is different from what we thought? So what we've perceived at the gallery is that there is a certain fear of Rubens's depictions of women, the sense that there are lots of oversized, naked, naked women, and that that can be overpowering, sometimes off-putting. And so what we've done is carefully selected the best of the best with a variety of images, depictions of different women, whether they're religious paintings or portraits or mythologies, and we've pulled them together in this exhibition to show the breadth of his work and to show that sensitivity, and it really shines a different light on this extraordinary artist. Rubens was married twice, I think. The, the first wife was Isabella. Yes. Does she feature in the paintings? Oh, she does, and in the first room we have a portrait of her from the Uffizi in Florence. And she looks so cheeky and wonderful in that painting, and we've hung it alongside a portrait of their daughter, Clara Serena, and the likeness between mother and daughter is really striking. Clara Serena died very young, and then indeed Isabella died. There was lots of tragedy in that part of Rubens' life. Yes, there was. I mean, the 17th century, it's, it's always worth remembering what a difficult time that was, and Europe was ravaged by war, but also plague. And so Isabella died from the plague, and Rubens writes so beautifully in his letters about his feelings and his grief, and he thought that he would never get over the loss of Isabella because he loved her so. And then one of his friends wrote to him when Clara Serena had died, when she was only 12 years old, and wrote to, in condolence to Rubens at the loss of such a precious daughter. And yet, at the age of 53, he marries for a second time. Yes. He marries Hélène, who is... 16 years old. Yes, again, we remember the 17th century was a very different time, but he also was very careful. I think Rubens had seen so much and he knew how short life could be. 
And his great patron, the Archduchess, was saying maybe he should marry very well, marry an, an English gentlewoman and the aristocracy, and it would help with all these political negotiations. And instead, Rubens writes in his letters that he cannot do that. And instead, he marries the most beautiful woman in Antwerp. And the last decade of his life, she inspired him. Every female face he paints from 1630 through to his death in 1640 looks like Helena Formont. And you get that radiating sense of love, but also that prolific period. He decides to retire from his public duties. They buy a house in the countryside, Hetstein, a country retreat and he paints landscape paintings. It's as if he's just really making the most of his time and of his love as a father, as a husband, and he just does what he loves best. He paints pictures that express how he's feeling. I would not necessarily have thought that this was a period when great respect would be shown to women, mm. but I think you're implying that Rubens did show great, great respect. And I think we can learn a lot about history through art. When we look at Rubens' paintings, we can tell that he's really looking, that he's responding to the personalities that he is painting. Whether that's intelligence or vanity, he pulls it all together. And that in itself is an act of respect. But Rubens would not have had the success that he had were it not for the women in his life. Not only his wives who inspired him, but also his great patrons, Mary de Medici, the Archduchess Isabel. They changed his career because they saw his talent, they gave him the opportunities, but it was for Rubens to seize those. And are the women in his paintings extras or are they heroes? <laughs> Absolutely heroes. There's one little painting we have from Castle that shows the flight into Egypt. And in that painting, it is the Virgin Mary who really shines as the hero of the moment. Her husband, Joseph, is running away in fear and is sort of hiding and just seems as if he's cowed by life. But Mary is completely calm and in control of the moment. And we see that again and again. Rubens allows his female figures to be the heroes of the stories that he tells. He lived through a period of great religious struggle uh, internally and between nations. And he um, was part of the Counter-Reformation movement. How did that affect his paintings? It was strangely of benefit to him because as a Catholic, he gained many commissions for Catholic churches who wanted to fill the greatest churches of the Southern Netherlands with grand altarpieces. So in a way, commercially for him, it was a, a very good thing. His faith was important to him too. And so you can see the way that he really thinks about the theology, his paintings are very intelligent, but also they work as ways in for people to pray in front of them. There's a beautiful holy family in this exhibition where he paints the Virgin Mary and the Christ child. It's, a, it's our Christmas card at the gallery this year. And the Virgin Mary is a portrait of his first wife, Isabel. And the child, the Christ child, is their son, Nicholas. Um, you have drawn paintings here from a, across the world, from some of the greatest galleries on, on the face of the planet. Mm. How is the Dulwich Picture Gallery able to do that? It's the strength of our collection. We have in our collection some superb oil sketches by Rubens. And so this exhibition is an opportunity to showcase them. For instance, we have a sketch that he made in the late 1620s for a huge commission for a series of paintings that were being sent to Madrid. And for the first time since 1628, that oil sketch from our collection is united with the great finished painting from the Prado in Madrid. So I think it's the strength of our collection and also the focus that we have on our exhibitions here and our reputation for our exhibitions really doing something interesting and that unlocks great loans. Um, please complete this sentence. Over the Christmas period, I should go and visit the Rubens exhibition at the Dulwich Picture Gallery because... <laughs> because there's nowhere better to be if I want to enjoy great art in the most beautiful setting. I rather agree with that. I was talking to Jennifer Scott at the uh, Dulwich Picture Gallery and uh, Rubens and Women the, uh, is an exhibition that runs all the way through December and into January.